we're just now coming out loving to loving seeing all these different animal prints in the snow seeing how much life there is and the sheep come running you guys may have seen our video I think I called it sheep come running uh, where we were at the rental property it is really pretty in the snow wind chill right now I think for our area is like right about five degrees so far I don't see any sheep shivering they're just looking and look at this a baby this guy's a tank has pretty thick hair these are all registered hair sheep he did have a good chance to beef up and dry off he's uh almost a week old but he did well we had over an inch of rain yesterday changed to freezing rain and then snow and we got uh it's hard to say with the wind drifts snow drifts but we got uh probably four or five inches and what's really cool about sheep being such a uh, herd type animal even though we call them a flock is how narrow all 60 or so of these sheep are able to travel if we had the dogs still roaming out here their footprints would be everywhere random they'd look like they were drunk but these sheep They follow very tightly behind one another. Here's Lammy. A lot of these ewes are pregnant. If they were to lamb today, our genetics are strong enough where I would say as long as they clean off their babies, which they will. We had troubles with that at the beginning, but we selected against that neglect, I guess. Um, if the lambs are born right now, they'd be fine. Our concern is when lambs are born in the snow, or uh, sorry, in the rain. That's that's asking a mama to do almost a miracle. But you know, sheep don't normally cycle so early in the summer as uh, these Katahdins, whose main breed was had evolved, or however you want to say it, near the equator. So the winters weren't such a big deal. But anyway. Most of them look real good, real healthy. There's one in the back here. Two in the back I got concerns about. But anyway. Um, if you want to see what their paths look like, they like to sleep on a hillside like this. And I don't know, with them having free run of our field and all the different hills, I don't know if they're able to sense which direction the wind's coming from and sit on the downhill side of that or what. But, well, now we're going to get into our trailer and get some hay out. And boy, do they know it's time. You guys take care. <laughs> 